I'm sure you've heard this phrase before. Fuck you. Like, a developer makes a game for the Wii U, and it sells like shit. It's all about identifying what the heck this is, and taking a good, hard, long look at a franchise to see if it still exists. The next series to do this is perhaps my favourite of them all, The Legend of the <laughs> For the next game, Breath of the Breath of the, Breath of the Wild, Nintendo will be looking at your penis, which I think is pretty gay. Designer Shigeru Miyamoto said, I wanted players to feel wet Japanese cunts. So you definitely don't have a map in this game. There's just a grey map that shows your map, and you aren't told to kill yourself. The text crawl says that you need to track down eight pieces of the best ever. But how that happens is up to me. You're given a huge map from the very beginning. You can technically explore Skyrim right now, perhaps striding off west and coming across a lake in the lake, or heading off e to gravity squeeze through a canyon before you butterfuck Zelda. There's no sauce in Zelda 1, it's just a sign I remember this guy who said Faces of Evil is really good, and I was like, yes. And this is a game quack quack. So yes, Zelda 1 is one Zelda which one one Zelda, but the designers use some clever tricks to make loads of money. For one, the world map just isn't that big, unlike my dick. Also, Zelda keeps the Wi-Fi password away from you until you subscribe. Not through actual lots, but through what you might call sauce. Zelda is, like I said, a bitch, but if you listen carefully, you'll realise that this video doesn't make much sense. Zelda fans feverishly argue about the meaning of this clue, which says, you suck, but it wasn't written by the game's designers. In, in the original Japanese version, that same man says, I don't want to live. But maybe this is why I kept seeing that bogus claim that Dark Souls 2 is a good game. Nah, mate. So, The Legend of Zelda is a game that gave players a huge dick, but in more recent Zelda games, that same dick is far too small to use. So the question is not, can you make a game? The question is, can Nintendo make a sandwich? We'll see. Hey, thanks for watching this crap video. If you like YTP, consider subscribing to someone better instead. Oh, and if you're still not sick of Zelda stuff, then look forward to my Breath of the Wild video in seven years, I guess. Every open world game is trash, because each game is open and world and a game. For The Legend of Zelda Wild Breath, Nintendo used Miyamoto's DNA for a very specific purpose, to conquer the world. There are only two Nintendo games after all, Far Cry and Big Rigs. What this means is your only choice is to either kill your son or nuke Boston. Really makes you think which means everything you do in the game is in preparation for that final fight with this guy. Well, almost. Another thing Zelda does differently to most wooden mops is in how many of the English voices that are actually good, which is to say, hardly any. At the start, your map is completely blank and you need to activate these all mints to fill in the gaps, and any genuinely interesting weapons you might find are just going to fucking break. It's also important that you can always go anywhere you like. I was playing Breath of the Wild the other day and was intrigued by this giant mountain, but when I tried to get there, I was greeted by an actual invisible wall. Bummer. Anyway, maybe that invisible man tried to ruin my life, but Breath of the Wild shows that I'm not even real. But the thing about video games is how good it feels to complain about them, especially if they're popular. Let me just go back to the meme thing for a second. Breath of the Wild is shit because it doesn't let you fuck the dead fish. You can also take a shower, which I'd recommend. Unlike Bethesda games, Zelda is perfectly playable. Well, almost. Here's an example. Well, these two lads are talking about masturbation techniques and they give me a clue. The little twin steps over the little twin steps over the little faggot. <laughs> If all of this sounds a bit familiar, it's because I talked about almost all of this stuff seven years ago in my video about the legend of the legend of But Nintendo didn't just take too long to make this game, it also looked at your mum naked. But you can tell that Nintendo knows how to make a convoluted timeline and then completely ignore it. And in the new Zelda, the story is very different to previous Zelda games because Link has to save Hyrule from Ganon. Spa ups, spa ups, spa ups. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. You can probably expect my next video to come out in 2026, and then I will never make another sauce joke.
ever again. Until the next one. Toss. G. It sure is boring around here.